For the first time since 1998, we are going to be putting our submarine in the water for the very first time. After a month and a half of rebuilding, rewiring, replumbing, today we find out if it sinks or swims. And since it's a submarine, we kind of hope it does both. Dang it! So, if we see bubbles coming from there tomorrow, then you screwed us up and we're going down. Not good. So, do your best. <laughs> and that's all for today's lesson. After a little bit of repairs, We've got BJ on lead duty. He's taking out all of the lead. Hundreds of pounds of lead bars, just like this one, are coming out. And uh, here you go, brother. And we're also gonna take the scuba tanks and all the air systems out. It's basically gonna be a shell with batteries so we can throw it on the trailer a little bit easier. <laughs> oh my God. We're here. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be an adventure tomorrow to see. It will be. Oh yeah. I love adventures. It's especially for you whenever you crawl in there and then you got to think and remember what all those valves do. Yeah, that's my favorite part. I should be, I should have been practicing that <laughs> while I was reading the manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before it was just a sub that needed work. Now it's a sub that needs to be tested in the water. So it's had a lot of work done. Every time we lift it up, I get so scared. It's, uh, Pretty nerve-wracking subs in the air now. I mean, there's no going back. This is the this is the scary part here. But I'm watching out for my toes. We're lifting her up, and I think maybe another foot. She should be ready to go on the trailer. Oh my goodness! Good. There it is. We got contact on foot. She is landing. Ladies and gentlemen, we just transplanted the submarine officially to the trailer. <laughs> yeah, today is the official water test day. Scary. I'm having like a lot of thoughts, man. Like last night, it was like Christmas. Like I wasn't even able to sleep, but like not Christmas because like there's good presents under the tree. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was just nervous. I still am nervous. There's a lot that could go wrong. And, uh, I don't know. I think we're prepared for all the stuff that could go wrong and we're prepared if things like go right. But ultimately, you know, this isn't gonna be some in the water riding around and just exploring and having a good time. While we might have a great time doing it, this is to test the work that we did. And uh, that's where things get nerve wracking. This is not like our first underwater mission. This is our first underwater test to make sure that it operates. So I don't know, I'm nervous, you know? You have electrical fires, that's a real issue. You have, um, sorry, big bumps here. You got uh, the battery box exploding with the hydrogen gas building up inside. Like, so far we think we have that mitigated, but like that's still a real possibility. And you have complete uh, failures of the submarine sinking, as well as failures of the actuators to release cabin air. So there's a lot of stuff that could actually go wrong that we can't really test until we put it in the water. And uh, it's nerve wracking then. I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's nerve wracking. I'm excited, but in a nervous, nervous way. It's a very strange feeling to try to explain. We got Corey, Nautical Bros Customs, sort of sub expert. So that's your legal. That's my legal. So Legal there's no title. gray areas. You're yeah. not, you're not, yeah. Okay, got it. I should write sort of pilot on my arm. Sort of I'll pilot. I'll do it, I'll do it. A lot of moving parts today. Of course, we have the submarine. Couldn't do this video without that, but we also have the jig and jet that's gonna hold the nautical bros and my camera guy on it. And uh, they're basically just gonna be my eyes. It's the way we're gonna record all the cameras and whatnot. Um, well, me and maybe Corey and definitely Garrett are gonna be in the water doing submarine stuff. So we got above. We got below, a lot of moving parts, but we got a lot of safety measures we gotta cover for this deal. I feel like my biggest job yep. is to make sure 
that you get to make another video next weekend yeah. and we just keep you yeah. alive and if we got a cool story out of it you know i great. like that plan no, also but, if the submarine for some reason goes tailed down and i get trapped with like the sediment on the bottom or whatever he'll be able to see that so yeah. he could be like hey boys we need help or like he'll be him and i will be able to like push it off the bottom if this is like worst case scenario stuff but at the end of the day we don't know there could be an electrical fire like we have no idea so that's why garrett is going to be full time in the water when i'm in the water he's in the water which is going to be good yep. thanks for saving my life today absolutely <laughs> we're doing it Trav. we're doing it Things are getting real, man. You guys had no faith in me because every video I was like, all right, guys, the next video we're doing a water test. The next video we're doing a water test. But now, here we are with the water test. Are we ready? Uh, is the submarine ready? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, this is why we're doing a test. To be honest with you, we're not expecting to put it in the water and just go submarining or whatever you call that, exploring and everything go perfectly. To be honest, there's a bunch of dangers. It's not about having a successful mission. It's about finding the bugs that this submarine has and going back to the mini factory and figuring those out. I'm not gonna lie, for the past few nights, I have not been able to sleep. I've also been jacked up on Mountain Dew and Red Bull, so that could be part of it, but also it's like Christmas every single night, except there's not like good toys under the tree. It's just uh, drowning. <laughs> I think we may have to use Oh yeah. Yeah, we got it. Is on, all air is on. Oh shit! There it is, that's good. Show him that! That should be showing the show. Oh, no, no, no. We had a failure. That failure's that over easy kid on the middle tank? Yep. That's what, that's what it never is. Alright. Should be good to go. Oh baby, we're doing it! <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah, brother, I'm ready. Send me in. Oh yeah. Yep, that's good. Yep. Whoa. Oh, that's the buoyancy control. Wow, it's lifting the nose. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God, brother. Watch your head. You good? All right, one problem. Right here, this is bubbling. But if no air is getting in, I mean, if no water is getting in, then we're good. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, I'm going to sink it. You ready? At the same time? Oh, shoot. God, that's so loud. There's a little bit. God damn it, bro. It's so loud. Holy shit. This is crazy. I've reached the point where we're going to roll the thrusters down, hit the throttle, and give her what she's got. You got auto buoyancy control on. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Let's do it. That's awesome. Right 
it on the bottom. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, is this what air feels like? <laughs> Dude, what an absolute rush. I would tell you this right now. Absolutely incredible. I'm only heartbroken about one thing. I took my GoPro off and about 90% of what happened under there was not recorded, but insane nonetheless. We've got a couple things we gotta figure out, but I mean, this, this is unreal. I mean, this is unreal. It hasn't failed. <laughs> That's like our biggest thing. So um, we have blown through all of our tanks. We have to switch our tanks. We need a little bit more weight, but I mean, freaking crushing it, man. It's unreal. BJ. What do you think about it, bro? BJ. <laughs> What's it look like? I, I, ain't, I ain't got to see it in there. I'm sure I will eventually, off. but. It's insane. Yeah, like, man. when you're down there and you just see this blue glow, it's, it's unreal, bro. I mean, there's nothing like that. There's yeah. nothing like that. <laughs> So, now we're gonna hook all this up. Turn the system on. Still extremely heartbroken that I wasn't recording a lot before, but we're about to go round two. And uh, this time we've learned a lot. So, we've got a lot more weight in there. I have assessed a couple of leaks that we do have. But I mean, hey, our electronics are holding up. And uh, things seem to be going well. We've hit the bottom twice, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But I think we'll be all right. We only have one more change of scuba tanks. Uh, but so far, our testing is going really good. Uh, we need more weight. We put that in there. We need more air. We put that in there. And uh, that weight is going to help us get down. We were fighting our bubble, our main bubble inside. And honestly, uh, what I'm saying could technically be wrong because, look, man, like we're figuring it out. I'm not a freaking professional pilot, but it is insanely fun. So when I get to the bottom like I am now, if I go, I cannot go down with auto buoyancy on. Okay, I can, right. It will not go. 
it is push it's compressing and pushing and it's having a hard time we're already maxed out here pretty much we could yep. go a little bit more what i have found is i can go manual it's about to be very loud watch i will yep. plug your ear yeah okay give it some now so And I was like, I bet the ball is 18 foot. And sure enough, I was like, we can't go down anymore. I was like, that's exactly what it was. So we just had this thing completely tanked. But I will say our dinosaur egg saved us, man. Saved us from crashing and burning. That statue is insane. Right? Okay, I was hoping so you guys could see We it. were trying. Garrett took us on a little tour. Uh, Garrett showed us some stuff, but GoPros were dying left and right. They were overheating. It's a whole deal. We got to figure out how to use the cabin air on man or not on manual on on just auto it's very difficult to figure that out and figure out buoyancy but i mean we're driving around i'd say that's a successful day let alone a successful test brother there's three leaks oh okay well there's so, one up front yeah and it's coming from around that seal we're tubes. gonna have to re the wall the wall the wall so we're gonna have to redo oh, all of that yeah i just want to be the first person who's ever done a backflip up there person of submarine from 1998. <laughs> I might be the first person that's ever done a backflip off this. I'm nervous. I feel like I don't even know how to do backflips. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Figured it out. It's like you can celebrate now, baby. We survived. I know what good air feels like. Gotta pull the backflip off. You can pull the backflip off, brother. Oh, be yeah. the second person in history right. to do a backflip off this. Subscribe, 1998 personal submarine. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta I, learn that. Woohoo! I, I mean, first friend do a front flip. <laughs> Come on with it, brother! All right, guys. So. It's BJ's first time in the sub. <laughs> Submarine in the water. What do you think? <laughs> it don't feel right. This does not feel right. <laughs> hey, bro, just look like down there, man, like 20 foot deep. <laughs> Oh, dude, I was so nervous with y'all down there. I'm like, dude, he's got my little brother down there. And I hope they're fine. I hope they're fine. Yeah, man. And then I'd see it like the ball would go. And I'm like, no, they're having fun. We're good. <laughs> Hey, bro, this wouldn't have happened without your hard work, bro. <laughs> bro, it wouldn't happen without you getting it, though, and all the hard work you put in to get it. So that's 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 it, man. I will say, uh, without you guys, it would still be sitting on a trailer. So I'm very, very grateful. But uh, there's a lot of work we're going to figure out, but it's incredible. <laughs> Boys! Now, I mean, we've done the hard part. In my opinion, we did the freaking hard part. We got this thing in the water. It didn't explode so far. We went through six tanks, which is quite a lot. But we had not. But we went through six. And we still, honestly, could have used more. Yeah, uh, we easily could use more. We figured out how to maintain our air a little bit better. But now that we got this baby here, we got to get it on the freaking trailer. And that's going to be a whole different task, <laughs> to be honest with you. So we're thinking we're going to lift it up. But I mean, at the end of the day, we don't really know. We're going to have to custom build a trailer. Yeah. That one works for transporting it. But I think we get a low profile. So that way we can get in and out yeah. with slides to be able to pull it up and then lock yeah. it into yeah. place. Well, here's my thing. You yeah. might be thinking it's small because I'm thinking instead of a trailer, I'm saying yeah. we might need a yacht, man. Mother we need, shit. need a freaking yacht to put this thing on. <laughs> that. <laughs> We'll be that next low. Put a little crane up. Hey, instead of BJ backing my truck in right now with a trailer, it could be a whole yacht. Just think about it, boys. We got to dream big. We're on to submarines now. We got to think big, brother. We got to think big, man. Holy shit. 
<laughs> All right, we're the back on the trailer. We right. and I got the balance over so it's really tough to start. Yeah, we're after a there it is. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, water down in Operation the Submarine. Please. Go ahead and pull it all the way up. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wow! Wow! <laughs> all smiles, team smiles today, well, brother. That's freaking awesome. That's insane, man. This is like coolest dumbest thing I could have ever done. <laughs> I'm just glad it worked out. I guess it's not dumb since it did work out. Now it's like officially only cool. Like it's I'm a submarine pilot now. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we had an upgrade. I went from making fishing videos to treasure videos to submarine pilot. <laughs> submarine. I'm the, the sort of submarine expert. Yeah, no, no, you got to start. Submarine expert. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to throw that sort of in the last. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Yeah. You know, this is uh, when I bought this. They said it's made for 70 foot ships. Meanwhile, it was we were like bluegill fishing with a submarine. <laughs> it's like what it looked like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that officially wraps up the first water test ever. Well, for us, with this 1998 personal submarine, this is a milestone on this channel. This is a really big deal. This is a really, really big moment. And I'm so glad that I was able to share it with the nautical bros who have put their blood, sweat, and tears quite literally the past month and a half making this happen. You got to remember a month and a half ago, I bought this and we had no clue if it worked. It lived in my yard for a couple weeks. It had wasps growing in it and we had to completely tear everything out and rebuild it. And today was the final test of their work and it passed with flying colors. I am not even going to lie to you talking about this I'm freaking I'm freaking getting emotional and uh, I guess it's because like I gambled at this thing you guys don't understand like I freaking gambled I threw my wallet at this it's a really big deal and it was either sink or swim and uh, you guys loved it it happened to work out the nautical bros I have such a great relationship with them and the fact that it all came together and we are able to operate it now mind you I'm not the best submarine pilot in the world I got a lot to learn but it didn't fail us and uh that's a huge huge accomplishment and a huge testament to the guys who have put work in on this thing they're not submarine builders but they're guys who know a lot about a lot and they were able to make it happen so big thank you to the nautical bros seriously without them this would not have happened i'll have a link for them in the description below go follow them on socials those guys man they've changed the trajectory of the youtube channel that you guys know and love and uh, i'll forever be grateful for that I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It's uh, we we cleared out just in time. We got a really big storm coming in. Thunder's coming, and uh, we did it. I cannot believe it, but we made it happen. I hate the fact that I keep getting emotional, but driving that submarine, I was just like, man, we are like, we're doing things different. We're doing things bigger, and I will always know that that is because of you guys. It is not because of me. I only get to make these videos because of your support and uh, I'll always be grateful for that. This is just the beginning. This is not the finish line, but this is now a tool that we could bring on our adventures and change the way we do YouTube and maybe even change the trajectory of underwater videos on YouTube. I think this is a testament to if you want something, then you got to put the work in and you can make it happen. This was all just a dream until we worked and made it a reality. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I appreciate you. Thanks for liking, supporting, subscribing. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we will catch you on the next adventure where who knows where we put our working personal submarine from 1998. Catch you guys in the next one. All right, well, good thing we got the submarine out when we did because it started a storm like crazy. It's Poseidon saying he approved of the submarine. I could be wrong, but that's how I'm going to look at it. What the heck? Look at this. <laughs> Did we please the submarine gods, baby? Woo! <laughs>